In this video, I am going to discuss how to identify and describe the characteristic of quadratic expressions in one variable. Have you ever scared the movement of a ball kicked by a football player? The shape of this movement is a parabola. Do you know that this parabola has its own equation? A quadratic expression in one variable is an expression whereby the highest power for the variable is 2. The general form of the quadratic expression is ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, and c are constants and a not equal to 0. S is a variable. To know further, let us look at question number 1. Determine whether each of the following expressions is a quadratic expression in one variable. If not, justify your answer. 2s cubed plus 5 is not a quadratic expression in one variable because the highest power of the variable is 3. So you can see s power of 3 here. 3s squared plus 6 is a quadratic expression in one variable because the highest power of the variable is 2. 3s squared plus 6y is not a quadratic expression in one variable because there are two variables, s and y. 1 over 3s squared minus 2s is a quadratic expression in one variable. Whereas 3s squared plus 1 over 3s squared is not a quadratic expression in one variable because there is a variable with a power which is not a whole number. If I bring this s squared up here, it will become s power of negative 2. So the power is in negative not in a whole number. 1 over 3s squared is a quadratic expression in one variable. Question number 2. Determine the value of a, b, and c for the subsequent quadratic expressions. a, 3s squared minus 4s plus 5. So normally we will compare with the general form of quadratic expression a x squared plus b s plus c. From there, we will know a is in front of s squared, b is in front of s, and c is a number. So a equals 3, b equals negative 4, c equals 5. Let us look at b, negative 1 over 3 s squared minus 2 s plus h. So a is equals negative 1 over 3, b equals negative 2, and c equals add. c, negative s squared plus 7. So in front of s squared is a negative, means is negative 1. And in front of s, we don't have s here, so b is equals 0. And the number is for c. c equals 7. d. 3k bracket k minus 5. So we expand 3k times k, 3k squared. 3k times negative 5 equals negative 5k. So we still compare with a s squared plus b s plus c. a equals 3 b equals negative 5 and c equals 0. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe for more.